Hey, what's up, Jen? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's go, Fifth House Leo. Could be confusion prevailing as far as what action to take. I'm almost getting a lot of excitement and anticipation around the value that you're growing and that you're feeding and that you're watering with the seven of pentacles in the upright here. You know, there, it, it's like you, you want to do something, but right now it's like the old construct is on life, life preserve. And so it just needs to die out. It just needs to take its last gasp. And you've already cultivated something new and fresh for the new world. With the Seven of Pentacles. So if you feel, if you're feeling this antsiness or this eagerness, is because you're, you're so used to taking action, right? And, but consistency is what's needed more so. Because you are cultivating something that can serve you for, that can serve you for a lifetime. With the Seven of Pentacles here in the upright. And you might only see it as a myopic current picture, but it's more than that. It's a bigger picture. It's almost bigger than you, I would say, what you're cultivating. So your instincts are saying, okay, well, I know I'm not going to leave this behind. I know that this is something that I could carry with me for the rest of my life. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can work on. Okay? Remember, the, the visceral ten of swords in the upright, his gaze is focused on the hands. And the hands are Gemini, and Gemini is the magician, the master manifester. The hands also hold the pen. You may have been scapegoated behind your back. Definitely the Ten of Swords is about backstab and betrayal. But you're being scapegoated and betrayed for a reason because they know your power. They know that, and I've been saying this as of late, that you have the truths and the secrets and you have the story. You have your story. And so... Now is the best time to be on the outs, on the fringes, not in the in crowd. Because you're on the cutting edge, you get to uh, create reality for yourself, right? And this is where we're moving from spirituality to consciousness, okay? Supreme consciousness of who you are, which is a world creator, in your own little way, or maybe even in your own big way. That's the point. We don't know how much of an influence your energy has through the field where we're sending ripples of energy constantly. Okay. What I do know is that I've been on the receiving end of ripples, and I've had moments where I've waken up 3 3 3 on the clock, by the way. And I've chosen violence. And in hindsight, I could have not chosen violence. But that belongs to my story. You know, who deserves medicine? Who am I going to be a bad taste in the mouth of? For my own reasons, for my own story. You know? But the point being is that it could be that that energy can serve a positive uh, awakening or a red pilling of those that are still in the old world that may have propagated this betrayment. You know what I'm saying? So part of your, as a magician, as you come into your own, as a manifester, you know, don't get it mistaken, don't get it twisted. As a worker of light and love, I mean, there's such a thing as tough love that you could send out, you know, and really affect with ripples. You know, so there's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of onus that comes with that as well, because you can also transmutate the energy, right? Um, you've lived and died so many times. I mean, to the point where like you open-handedly accept jumping timelines. You know, um, 
And so you're on the ladder, right? You're on Jacob's ladder, if you will. Um, and that might, and that it's funny because when you take into consideration frequencies, you can see where where you where you've come from, and who's still below you on the rungs of the ladder. Um, but you know, if you're headed in a, if you're headed up, you're headed up. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes if you try to reach down and pull someone up, well, they, they might drag you down. So you have to take that into consideration as well. Um, a lot of interesting irons in the fire, though, in this read. You are, you are at your full magnetic uh, empowerment, though, is what I'm getting. Okay. And I'm also getting, like, runaway train, catch-up season. Okay. Because a lot of people are slipping off right now. And so this is where you gain traction and momentum. A lot of people are falling off. Okay. But you are at, like, I'm getting, like, black belt level, coral, red belt level of the spiritual, you know, ninjutsu, jujitsu. You know. Um, so consistency will win the storied life, you know. Okay, this is getting too good. Let's roll this on over to Virgo. Um, if you're not a Leo, again, feel free to apply this to your fifth house in astrology. 